Kenyans give a C grade to President Ruto's performance. This is a higher grade compared to last year's D grade. Okay. Overall, 41% of Kenyans feel that government officials have performed poorly with 32% giving an average rating. Meanwhile, President William Ruto and his deputy Rigadi Gashagwa scored grades C and D respectively in the latest InfoTrack survey, a slight improvement in performance rating from December last year. The pollster further stated that more than 50% of Kenyans believe that the country is headed in the wrong direction. And as Emily Tibet report, the survey shows that senators are performing better than their National Assembly counterparts. The number of Kenyans who are feeling that the country is headed on the wrong path remains above 50%, even though the percentage has been decreasing from July last year. According to a survey conducted by InfoTrack between 8th and 10th March, 58% of Kenyans believe that... This is enough reason to grade them poorly when the doctors, the medical workers are seated at home. There is no money to pay them, like he rightly said, quoting him. President Ruto, there is no money to pay doctors. When the, the health sector of the country is not taken serious, why would they be graded high? We want the government to address urgently. Corruption and access to health care are some of the factors that inform the dissatisfaction from over 50% of Kenyans. Uh, this survey was done before the doctor strike began, but of course you can see here Kenyans still feel the healthcare system that we have may not be really adequate. Then infrastructure, education, poverty, cost of doing business, access to clean drinking water. The overall rating of Kenya Kwanza government stands at a mean score of C, which is an improvement from a D last year. The president has scored 52%, his deputy Rigadi Gashagwa 48% in the performance rating. In addition, National Assembly scored 53%. The Senate showed a better performance with a mean score of B, Judiciary 67%, and the opposition 62%. Raila Odinga's bid for the AU chairmanship received a big nod from the majority of Kenyans. Interestingly, the polls show Nairobi and Rift Valley as the leading supporters of Odinga's bid. 81% of Kenyans are in support of Raila Odinga's candidature, 16% are not in support, while 3% do not know whether to support or not. He's getting the highest support from Nairobi at 88%, followed by Rift Valley at 85%, I don't know why, and uh, 83% from Nyanza. Uh, the least support is only getting from uh, northern, east, northeastern, that it's 64%, but it's quite still high. It's above the majority. And, uh, of course, I think because they have the highest of uh, those that do not know. The polls sampled 1,000 Kenyans across the eight regions. The three constant key issues that Kenyans feel that the government need to give priority spanning from four polls by InfoTrack yeah. are high cost of living, unemployment, and corruption that they say is an impediment to personal growth and nation building. Like I heard clearly, this rating was done in December. That was before the doctor's strike and before a, a, a lot of things became worse. Well, I hope the government looks into this and put in more effort to do better for the citizens. Thank you very much for your time out with me. I don't take it for granted. See you in my next as I bring you away again more trending news. Bye.